Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a belated sneak peek slash first look. This is one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this past weekend. They're in the process of moving warehouses and that has caused just some delays here and there, not a big deal, but they were still kind enough to send this over for me to show to you guys once it did come in. And I believe that as of the time of this filming, this kit is still in stock on the website. So you can go and take a look and pick it up if it's your, if it's your style, especially if this video helps you make that choice. So what I have for you today is Jupiter by Roy Trin, AKA Roy the Heart. Um, and this is another in this kind of planets series. We've had a couple come out so far. I think Mercury and Venus, and I wonder if we're gonna get the whole series. So anyway, this kit's gonna have square shaped diamonds. We do have some blue branding for that. There's some info on the back about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. On the side, there's a QR code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. If you happen to be looking at making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club and you'd like to save 20% off that first purchase, I do have an affiliate code you're welcome to use, but of course there's no obligation. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Thank you so much if you do choose to use it. But like I said, please don't feel obligated. You're gonna see a few different discount codes in this video alone. I just recommend taking advantage of one of them. <laughs> so you aren't paying full price for your purchase. Sorry about that. We do have a toolkit here that's gonna have everything we need to do our diamond painting. We'll take just a quick look here. So you're going to get a pen and squishy. The color on these will vary. You're gonna get some wax to load up into your pen. Be sure to peel off that thin plastic cover before you try to load up your pen. You're also going to get some thin plastic multi-placers. You can pop into the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. You're also going to get a tray with a tray stopper you can pop in, which is handy. Some bags that you can put your diamonds into. And then of course some tweezers. These are pretty, pretty sharp. So definitely, oh yeah, super sharp. Keep that cover on there. And then we've got a roll of washi tape and a cover minder. Cover minders have magnets on the back. You can slide, ooh, actually that's kind of like the glue overlapped onto there. So I'll have to kind of pop that off um, with some tweezers or something like that. But you can usually slide this top magnet off and slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on. Peel back the plastic cover and uh, set your canvas back down and put this on top of the peel back plastic cover. It'll hold it back and look really cute. Wash tape I like to use around the border of my canvas to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. I also use it to section off my canvas. If you'd like to see a full-on demo video where I talk about how I use it and, and show you how I use it, I actually have a video dedicated to just that, as well as an overall how to diamond paint for beginners if you are brand new. Here is a smaller logbook sticker. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the name and the artist and the original artwork and some of the stats. And some people will use this on the boxes to help organize their stash or find something else crafty to do with it. It's totally up to you. Everything else is gonna be included in this bag. This branded dust cover. And oh my gosh, their canvases are so incredibly soft on the back. It's like, it's like a pillow. So oh my gosh you guys she's so pretty wow okay this is definitely definitely sending me back to the kit mercury which i completed I'm trying to remember if i did a dedicated post review on that one i think i did if not i know i covered it in one of my month in review videos roy trin's artwork and this series of artwork of, of theirs translates so beautifully to a, a diamond painting so i highly highly recommend Here's a look at the canvas. Since I cannot quite fit this canvas all in frame, I am gonna go ahead and pop up a picture for you on the screen so you can see the whole canvas in all of its beauty. Now let me show you what was included in here. So we do have a pamphlet with some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front. Info about what's included in your kit. A beginner video link. A link to the VIP Facebook group, which is a really fantastic resource that I recommend joining once you've made your first purchase. 
some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you, some tips and tricks, another discount code, and then QR codes that'll take you to the app, which is handy for things like push notifications and, and shopping and stuff like that. And you do get a discount code, your first purchase in the app as well. Diamond Art Club also includes this larger sticker sheet. We've got the name of the artwork, the artist, a spot chart, your start and end date. Look at that beautiful original artwork. Looks like we're gonna have lots of shades of greens and browns, maybe some whites and grays. There's our stats. And then over here, you guys, we have a set of pre-cut stickers. So yes, these are already all pre-cut for you. That makes the kitting up process go quickly if you'd like to take the diamonds out of these heat sealed bags and put them into resealable bags or bead storage containers. Um, you can put the labels on there to make it just easier to find the colors you're looking for. This kit's gonna have 67 colors, so very, very colorful. Um, the color code system that they're using is the same as the DMC color code system. It's a universal brand. It's a brand of floss, like in cross stitch. Uh, the only exception though, is that anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll tell you more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds together, but we're gonna have two of those in this kit. And a quick look at these symbols. I don't think I see any that look like we're gonna easily maybe mix them up. So let's go on a little tour of the canvas though. I wanna see the symbols printed on the canvas as well so we can make sure they're printed nice and clear like they, like they usually are. Up here at the top, we have their branding. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas, you can see they are scalloped and finished. You're not truly gonna have to worry about any fraying. The back is the super, super soft material. They use poured glue on their canvases, which actually has a little bit of glitter to it, which is fun. <laughs> but it's a really nice thick poured glue. It's very sticky. It holds the drills really well, but it's also pretty forgiving if you place the diamond down or you need to adjust it and center it just a little bit. It usually tolerates that pretty well. We do have a legend or schematic over here that is on the top left and goes you know, a good half the length of the canvas. We have this same legend and schematic over here at the bottom right. Then if we look at the bottom left, we've got a thumbnail of the original artwork, the name and the size here, 22 by 33 inches, 55.8 by 83.7 centimeters, copyright Roy Trin. So Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of their artwork from the artist. This is super important. Uh, because this means that the artist is both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for the use of their artwork as well. Art theft is really common in the crafting world, and so I'm always going to shout out and stand by companies that are doing right by artists. We have their socials down here. Be sure to follow them here to stay up to date with new releases and sales and whatnot. Another discount code. And then here is info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. Um, that includes if you happen to run out of a color of diamond or if you have any issues with the canvas or the glue, anything at all, contact their customer support and they will get you taken care of. They're really responsive. The printing on the canvas looks pretty clear which is not shocking. We do have some of these symbols that it's like a pretty light, light background and then a white symbol on it that, you know, if, if you're having trouble seeing or making out the symbols, I recommend playing with your lighting just a little bit. I rarely have to do that with Diamond Art Club canvases at all, but occasionally, you know, everyone has different sort of vision and, and ways that they like to see and work on their canvases. Uh, you can try a light pad underneath your canvas or a good overhead light. Just kind of play with what works. Look at how pretty her face is rendered and her hair and then this kind of like glow behind her. This piece does have a lot of what we call confetti. Actually, let me come back here and I'll show you because this is a good example. Confetti is when you've got a lot of color changes in a small area. You'll mostly be single placing through some of these areas like here. And uh, it usually takes a little bit longer than areas that have color blocking, kind of the opposite of confetti. But the payoff is with confetti, you do get a good amount of detail. Here is an area that has some color blocking, kind of that anchor symbol you see, a bunch of that. So you'll be able to use a multi-placer and have that color in your tray for longer. That'll go a little faster. I like to have a good mix of both in my canvases if it works out for the artwork because uh, confetti keeps it interesting, but color blocking keeps it moving. 
I'm liking what I'm seeing of the render on the canvas. The printing looks really clear. It looks like it's the usual top-notch quality we've come to expect from Diamond Art Club. And if you noticed, this is already laying totally flat. I haven't had to roll it backwards or anything like that. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have a self-flattening feature, and so this is usually how it goes. <laughs> anyway, we have a nice big bag of diamonds here. I wanna take a look at the colors. There is a sticker on the bag of diamonds to let you know what kit these go with in case you store this separate, the canvas separate from the diamonds outside of the box they came in. It's easy enough to match up later. Okay, so here's our beautiful color spread. Can we say earth tones? My goodness. Okay, let's take a quick look at these colors. Now, these are square diamonds, as I mentioned, and Diamond Art Club does manufacture all their diamonds in-house. They recently further upgraded their square diamonds to have 20 facets. Now, this is a recent correction from Diamond Art Club, actually. For a while, there was a misunderstanding or a miscommunication where we all thought that they had doubled the number of facets on their square diamonds from 13 to 26. Like I said, just recently, they issued a correction and said, actually, it's 20 facets. So <laughs> I have to be honest though, you guys, I really don't think we're gonna miss those six extra facets. The, the facets on these drills, they are extremely, extremely shiny and hyper faceted. So um, I have worked with some kits that have had these so far, including the other Roy Trin kind of uh, planetary series. <laughs> and they were really nice to work with. They're very shiny and shimmery. It's a really pretty effect. So you guys are seeing all these gorgeous earth tones. And here we go, you guys. 106, this is our first AB diamond. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These are named after the Northern Lights. If you take a look, these diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that's even more sparkly than the regular diamonds are. That color shift effect is what give the, gives these their name. It's reflecting a lot of colors besides just the base color. It's almost like a rainbowy effect. And the areas these have been charted, it's gonna draw your eye to and really highlight. And so this is one of two, I believe, and we will take a look together at the canvas after we're done looking at the drills, and I will point out where each of those AB colors are going to be found. So we have some more browns, about every shade of brown. And you'll hear me often say that when I see a lot of variations on a similar color, to me, that's actually pretty promising, and I think that that's gonna mean that we have some beautiful color blending going on. Diamond Art Club does hand chart all of their canvases and have a beautiful, clean, crisp rendering style. 131, there's our second of our two ABs. This one's a really pretty tangerine orange color, and I really, really love the coating on the tops of those. Anyway, I really, I really do enjoy Diamond Art Club's rendering style, and uh, having completed Mercury by this artist in Diamond Art Club, I feel pretty darn confident about how this artist's work is gonna translate to diamond painting form from Diamond Art Club, which is just beautifully. I think they did a wonderful, wonderful job. Diamond Art Club puts their diamond colors here roughly in order of weight. So we started with those bigger packets of diamonds that there were more of, and now we're getting down to these smaller bags and strands. Pretty peaches and corals. Ooh, a couple of like mints and light blues. And yet a few more shades of brown to, to, to round it off. So let's take a look and find where those ABs are gonna go. So we'll start here at the bottom and right off the bat. So some of these flowers, I don't know what kinds of flowers these are. Feel free to let me know in the comments. They're really, really pretty. They almost look like thistle-y, but anyway, uh, there's that pretty light beige AB we had is outlining some of these flowers, not all of them. There's a line of that here, a little bit over here around this flower as well, and around this as well. And then there's actually quite a lot of that, of that uh, light beige AB throughout this bundle of flowers and we actually have some of the orange ab that really light tangerine orange there's little clumps of it like half dozen here a dozen there kind of in the centers of some of these areas and right here as well uh, and here 
If we hop back over here, there's the orange AB here and here, over here. There's a line of it right here that's actually really pretty. Some of it in here, kind of these lines coming off her dress. It's a very soft, soft style of artwork. And I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, that really pay, it's like a, it was like kind of a taupey beige, right? Yeah. This is the one. Okay, so it's like an ivory beige. Is around some of these flowers. And then we have the orange AB through here, through some of these accent pieces here. And then over on this side as well, we have some of the orange. The orange you're seeing is an orange AB. Some more of that ivory light taupe around here. Then these lines, these white lines you're seeing here and here are that light beige, light taupe AB. There's a big bunch of that light beige AB right here here on the bottom of her collar this line right here and this line right here the off-white ab the orange ab we have a big clump of it and here the orange you're seeing a little accent right here and then in her headpiece there's a lot of that light taupe beige ab through here through her hair her headband here as well as right here and then i see the orange AB, there's a little bit of it right here. There's a little, yeah, there's a little arc of it. And then this kind of like halo look has is like a line, a double or triple line of that light taupe, light beige AB. And then there's a little bit of it here in this like ribbon that's coming off of her headband, the white, off-white AB. <sighs> I love it. I love it. I love the subtle shimmer look. I love that it's not going to be super, super, super sparkly because in my opinion, this artwork doesn't call for being super sparkly. It does have a lot more in the way of muted tones, um, but those earth tones and the AB placement just look like it's really beautifully going to suit this artwork. There's that original artwork, like I said. And you can see, yeah, this looks really stunning. I think the Diamond Art Club is gonna have really knocked it out of the park with this piece. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to see one of their, the other pieces by Roy Trade in this series completed, I completed Mercury a month or two ago. I know I posted it on my Instagram and I think I did a full post review video, if nothing else, um, it's in a month in review video on my channel. I'll have it linked below because sometimes it's really nice to see a finished kit to get a sense for how something is going to look. So I, I recommend that if you're the kind of, if you're like me and you enjoy seeing a finished product so you have have that sense for what to expect and if it's something that you'd like to work on. But you guys, this is Jupiter. This is from Diamond Art Club. It's a new release from this past weekend. And like I said, as of the time of this filming is still available, I believe. So um, I might be wrong about that. I think it is still available. I will link to the listing below. If it's out of stock, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to discontinue it or not, but if they're planning on bringing it back, I think there probably is an option to sign up for back in stock notifications or emails. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this belated sneak peek slash first look and that it gave you a sense for if you do want to pick up this, this kit for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go though. Um, thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over and let me know if you have any questions or comments or thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. There's a button over here if you'd like to stay up to date with all my diamond painting content. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.